What's the carbon footprint of these events every single year that you come here? You think it's worth it? The peasants pay for your crimes? That's a stupid question. Is it, a, is it really? We're done. We're done. We are done now. You don't grab me. Why do you think you're more important? Your carbon footprint doesn't matter, but everybody else around the world suggested that. Nobody ever suggested that. Don't make up stupid questions. Well, that was climate czar John Kerry getting defensive while facing tough questions in snowy Switzerland. Avi Yemeni is the chief reporter for Rebel News, who you just saw questioning Kerry. And he joins me now live from Davos. You're still there. Avi, good morning to you. We've seen the video of you asking the questions and getting pushed aside. But take us behind the scenes. What was that moment like? Yeah, thanks for having me. Good morning. Um, look, we, we've been here on the promenade, which is just behind me. This is the beginning of the promenade, um, where we've just been looking for anybody who I think needs to answer questions that the media that's been invited here just won't ask them. And uh, you, you just see him, you have a few moments and you run up behind him. John Kerry had quite a security thing. And uh, it just, it was so ironic that he called it a stupid question because I think that it's, it shows how out of touch he is and how out of touch all of them are because that's probably the most basic question that the average Joe, I imagine, in America, I know certainly in Australia, are asking, like, why are you such a hypocrite? The buzzword on these streets at the moment is sustainability. These people actually use that word. You get into a conversation, no matter what industry, the second sentence is about sustainability. And I just look around and I go... Literally, they built this. This is fake. This wasn't here a few days ago. The whole promenade is like that. The carbon footprint of Davos is it's huge. But these people, are, you know, it, 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 it's either an industry for them or it's, uh, you know, they're, they're here to tell us this is the way we got to live uh, back home in Australia or in America, but uh, they, yeah. they certainly don't practice what they preach. Yeah, clearly not. And sustainability and the lavish lifestyle with a private jet use clearly doesn't go hand in hand. And Avi, over the first 18 months of the Biden administration, John Kerry took 48 private plane rides. He was in the air a total of 60 hours. He emitted around 715,000 pounds or 325 metric tons of carbon. That's a whole lot of carbon for a climate envoy. Absolutely. And, and he's not the only hypocrite. Here. He's just one of hundreds, if not thousands, that dictate and preach, uh, you know, clim climate alarmism. They don't actually believe in what they're saying. That's, that's the thing. If they really believe that catching the flights, catching their fl private jets, there's 150 lands here a day in the local tiny airport. If they really believed that, they wouldn't do it because uh, obviously they'd be too scared to do it. And, and we've caught up with a lot of big names, you know, from your friends at CNN to uh, to BlackRock to Facebook. And uh, for your viewers, I want to see what's actually happening here from, from the other side. WEFreports.com, we're actually putting all the videos up there. Uh, and, and John Kerry was just two minutes of many of them. It was just interesting to see how their security jump in to protect him. I don't think... They knew we weren't a danger to him. Right. The only danger he was was to himself. You know, the, the only two words he, he managed to get out just exposed him as how out of touch and full of it he actually is. So it seems like it was an unplanned moment by you. You saw him, you had the camera there, you had the mic, and then you just asked the questions that everybody wanted to know. Were you surprised when he called it a stupid question? Yes and no. Uh, I, I, I do. Uh, the, these people that, you know, you've got to understand, Davos is a safe space for these people. They, yeah. They've come here. I, this is my third. I'm starting to feel like an elitist just being here. I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to recognize faces. <laughs> but, but these people come here and they actually, until we started, there was no real independent journalists here. All the journalists that come here, they pay for a studio inside there and, and they can't, you can't rock the boat or you, you won't get a pass next year. So we're pretty much the only independent journalists. So they've always felt really safe to walk down this promenade and they get this shock. You know, at first they, they engage, they often do engage at first because they, they just assumed we were one of them. And then when they realized that the questions were a bit prickly, They'll turn on you, and uh, you know. Often the security will pounce. This year, there's a bit more security, I think, because we've uh, we've, we've we've had a few cracks yeah. in, the, in the in the last couple of years. Well, Avi, if a government official ever tells you that you're asking a stupid question, just know, and I'm sure you already do, that it's 
a really smart question. Rule of thumb there. Thank you so much for joining us. Your video is making a lot of news here in the U.S. We appreciate jo you joining us this morning. Have a great day. Thanks for having me. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.